floor in front of this. Viewlogy. This is a viewlogy. You can put 250 pages of stories and text. It's this is Tracy not a real Montrose person. Is not a Tracy Montrose is not a real person. But if you lift this up, in there, oh. there's text going there. And if you wait just a little bit, this is the whole family tree. It's got oh, it tells all kinds of It tells you the story of the person. It's about $5,000. It does not include the headstone. Let's see How if long does get... it last? Uh, it, the, well, it runs. There is a picture, oh, right? Isn't that a nice this picture? This is great. And uh, it runs on a battery that runs eight to 10 years. No kidding. So, so every eight or 10 years, right. you stop off. And for the person in your life who says they want to be cremated, look at this. You oh, well. Wow. Urn, right? Eulogy Little urn. monitor. Eulogy urn. This is a little Do they bit... talk? No, they don't talk. Maybe that'll be in the next one. <laughs> I don't know. But this is, um, this I think runs about $2,000, a little bit more. Tracy's brother, George Montrose, a banker in Rock Island, Illinois. There's a picture of Tracy. You know what I can't figure out? What? Why is it that like batteries and CD players last for like five minutes? And, stuff? and this can go for eight to 10 years. <laughs> how, how, how does this work? But imagine you walk subject, up. But that's I know. Really a good I was question. Just that. Just and you want to see uh, what you can find out about Tracy Montrose. You lift it up, you can very nicely find out the life story. And it's all weather gear. All weather gear. This is great stuff. There Can you, you just cut that into an existing headstone, or do you have to buy the whole thing? Deke, he's nodding his head famously and furiously back there. Yeah. So there you have it. Uh, Leaf Technologies. That's in Lebanon, Ohio, if I'm right about that. I believe I am. This is fascinating, fascinating stuff. Your Something whole life you on didn't a know chip. today. Right there. That's right. Last computer you'll ever need. <laughs> <laughs> it's 24 Literally. minutes before the hour. It's true. <laughs> Martha Stewart's coming up next as we continue our Martha Thought. Big funds or small funds are better. And the tombstone of the future means no more wondering. The information is all there. Feel. Well, now everybody could do uh, have, have a chronicle of their life at their final place of rest. A biography, compliments of computer technology. Computers and the information they put at our fingertips are just about everywhere, and now they have come to the cemetery. Their technology offers a whole new way to spend eternity. Cemeteries are full of mysteries. I mean, who were the people whose names and dates of birth appear on all those headstones? The stones we're used to provide more questions and answers unless they're outfitted with what's called eulogy and we take a person's whole life story in words and pictures and archive them at their place of burial it may look like a laptop but eulogy is an electronic display that flashes pictures and text about someone's life it even includes family trees the idea is really an old one made new if you go back to say colonial Williamsburg and look at some of the early gravestones there in the churchyard there's huge slabs that has the person's life story in it well now with technology we're taking digital photographs, text, genealogy, life stories, embedding it permanently in the computer's memory chips. Viewlogy will set you back about four to five thousand dollars. A cremation viewlogy urn runs about two thousand. Some genealogists say the information will be great to have, but it's still up to you to make sure your descendants get the digital information. If you don't pass that kind of information down through the family, no one would know because graveyards tend to eventually go into disrepair. Well, we didn't want to hear what I had to say about when I go. No. <laughs> Yours was going to be very short, though, which was yes, nice. Yes. There won't be a lot of reading involved. <laughs> Once here, now I'm gone. <laughs> good enough. Hey, you know what? The rain has come and gone, and that's some good news. It's over with tonight. It looks like we may get a little break tomorrow. We could use some drying weather, certainly. I um, was just thinking, what would be the next market that could possibly be uh, touched that hasn't been touched by computer technology already? And I was just joking with myself, thinking uh, about the only people that don't have computers at this point are dead people. For the living, it's a window into the hereafter. And for the dead, it's a... It's a strange new eternal life machine called Vulogy. Rhymes with eulogy. In a sense, this is the uh, last computer that you'll ever need. Vulogy is the brainchild of Deke Manros, a computer expert from Cincinnati. He used to work for giants like Apple. Now he's found a new home in the funeral business. It's the next step in remembering loved ones. 
Viewlogy allows loved ones to be resurrected before your very eyes in the form of computerized facts and photos. This is a way to take all that information that usually disappears out of people's attics uh, and gets tossed out in a generation or two and put that at that person's final place of rest. Deke Manross says Viewlogy is a variation on the way ancient Egyptians buried their dead in the pyramids, preserved and entombed with their possessions. We've, you know, taken uh, what they did with the Egyptian pyramids to uh, honor the pharaohs and through technology shrunk it into, you know, something about this size. And now also it's, it's not just for pharaohs, it's for, uh, uh, you know, anybody out there that wants to remember a, uh, a loved one. Here's how it works. Deke Manross gathers images and texts from the deceased's family, then programs it all into one of these graveside computers that can store up to 150 screens. The computers run on 10-year batteries. As long as the batteries are changed, the information will remain. We're trying to design a product for eternity. 